Hey everybody on YouTube and Vidme, Mr. Cageco the Prepper, the pissed off prepper. This is my uh, series on the bug out and stealth garden. Building a bug out camp with a stealth garden out in the bush. And it's a project for a year, episode two. Still looking for the locations and uh, getting everything sorted out, bringing it along for the ride. All right. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. So I've got my uh, rifle on my back. I've got my axe. And I'm just doing a little quick recce right now. All I'm doing is I know the area where I want to put a camp and a couple of caches and I want to put a couple of LPOPs and be able to do some stealth gardening this summer. And it's near a water source. So it covers a whole variety of bases for all kinds of uses. And uh, a good hunting camp, just enjoyable camping, you know, practice some stealth gardening. It's a bug out from the bug out. It's a security position. It's a fighting position, etc., etc., etc. And um, so, like I said, right now, I'm going to go say hi to that squirrel. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I've, I've kind of scoped it out a little bit during hunting season and uh, and I'm gonna, gonna go have a closer look and start working okay so I've chose a spot for a stealth garden and There is easy access to it, and there's a barrier, because that, it's hard to tell right now, but that's a beaver dam, and it's very deep, and there's no, well, yeah, getting a vehicle across is uh, nearly impossible in the summertime, which is a good thing. Now, as well, in this draw, there's another beaver dam right there. They've dammed it up, so that's going to hold water. It's holding water now, and... I'm going to be chopping into the ice, but it sounded last night as if uh, there's still water running. Not a big deal. In the summer, there will be. In the winter, not so much, but oh well. Now, so here we go. I found a nice spot. And I found this side hill right here, which the beaver have cleared to make their beaver dam. And there's all kinds of stumps sticking up, which is exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. There's water. Now, it's a steep hill, but there's water. There's water, 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 and that hill there, that incline, I can, uh, I can clear that and make it clean and make some steps if I have to and get up there. But all of these stumps in the ground that the beaver have left, well... I'm going to use those to my advantage. I'm going to do tiered gardens on the hillside. Now, they're not going to end up looking like this, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what I have in mind. And, of course, it'll be more stealthy, and even this is too fancy, but that's closer to what I'm looking at. Maybe something like that. We'll see. Yeah, you get it. Because what I'm going to build is I'm going to cut smaller trees down limbs off trees etc and I'm gonna build fences okay I'm gonna use these stumps to hold the fences up and then I'll fill those with dirt and then plant in them and uh, I'll be able to just dig around in the soil around here and uh, get nice loomy good soil and uh, and make a nice little area now the other thing too okay that is east so yes there are trees and etc but there is sunlight all day long to come in on the garden yeah some of these trees are going to get in the way but not as much in the summertime when the sun is higher so this little face here this little drop off this side hill will hold my gardens they'll get really good sun exposure and I can water them. 
So if we don't get the rains we want, I can bring water. If it rains like crazy, well, this is the top of a knob. This is the top of a hill. So if it rains like crazy, they'll get rain, they'll get water, but they'll drain off. They won't hold water. They won't flood. And not, it's not on a flat spot where, you know, they're going to get saturated. So it's going to take some clearing. I'm going to have to come up here and, you know, uh, start clearing all these shrubs and twigs and grass, cleaning it out, and, uh, and cutting my poles and making my fences. But yes it will work. So there we go. Got a spot. Okay, so I sped up the film because this took way too long. But what I have to do is uh, get myself through the ice and find out how deep things are right here. I want to know how much water is down there. And I want to know if the water is actually flowing in the winter time. Which, it might just be a trickle and uh, that's okay, but it, it's, again, I want to know. So I'll get a fire going and uh, melt my way through the ice. And once the fire goes out because it fell in the water, then I'll dig around and see what I got. And uh, I sped this up because it actually took about 20 minutes. And I really didn't feel like, you know, having a 9,000 minute video when I could only have a short video. Yeah. So, burn, 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 burn. Yeah, I got nothing else to say. No scripting. You know me. If you watch all the time, you know I don't script. So I've built my little fire to melt through the ice because this is a flat spot. There is ice here, so there's water. I want to know how much. And there's a beaver dam. And uh, the water level is four feet above where I'm burning the fire. I want to know how much water is down in this flat spot right here. As compared, I know there's about four feet of water there. Maybe there's more. I want to know what I've got down here because this flat spot leads to the hillside I want to put my water, my garden on. So yeah, like I said, all these trees here, these birch and poplar and spruce, tamarack, that are now in water, are all dead. So I can come along this winter, cut all these off, get them over to the bank. All I gotta do is just lay them on the bank so I can get to them. And uh, then I can come along in the, uh, in the spring and start using them for my garden. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. Um, there's going, I'm going to be able to put a place to sleep right beside the garden and uh, be able to come out here and tend to the garden, stay overnight and all that. I'm going to have to build natural fencing around it, keep the animals out of the garden. And because uh, I can't stay here all the time, I can stay here a good portion of it. And uh, again, start building. A permanent spot. So that's it for today. And uh, now I'm gonna recce through the bush and find uh, places for trails and uh, pick out my spots for my LPOPs. Uh, yeah, go from there. All right.